right, so this is going to be a parent and kid yoga today. This is Lolo, and she's my daughter, and so we're going to get started. Okay, so we're going to actually start by sitting in a butterfly. So we're going to just sit with our feet together. Just take three nice deep breaths. You can close your eyes if you like. So we're going to breathe in and exhale. And again, breathe in and exhale. Maybe take one more breath in, sit nice and tall. And then we're gonna take our right arm up and over to the left, take a big stretch to one side. Very good job. And then we'll reach up and over to the other side, big side stretch. Very good. And then we'll come up, we're gonna reach forward and just really try to make sure your hips stay on the floor here. So if you're kind of racking up, keep your hips on the floor. We're gonna take three breaths here. So we're gonna breathe in. Exhale and reach your arms as far forward as you can. Exhale again, breathe in. Exhale. Taking one more big breath in. And then we're gonna exhale, come up. So we're gonna just kind of stretch our legs to a small little baby V. So we're not gonna really open our legs really wide just yet. We're gonna put our hands around one leg and we're gonna kind of warm up this leg. So we're gonna lift it up one, two, three, four, and five times. And then we're gonna to go to the other leg. Let's lift it up one, two, three, four, and five times. Now we feel our legs, so we're gonna shake them out like jelly. And then open your legs to wherever your biggest straddle is. And point your toes. So you can, yep, we're not doing that one just yet. We're gonna still see, stay seated right now. So we do have different kinds of stretches we can do. We're gonna be seated for this one. So we're gonna stretch up and over to one side. Beautiful job, roll up. And then other side. Good, very nice. We're gonna do the same thing, but now with flexed feet. So when we flex our feet, we get a different stretch behind the leg. We're going to go up and over, big stretch with those flex feet. And then other side, up and over. Now we are going to come forward. So what Lola was trying to do before is a kind of a straddle where you roll up on your inner thighs. You could do that, but we're just today going to try to do just a regular one. Unless you want to, you could do that one, yeah. So this is a different kind of straddle. That it's more like a split, right, where you kind of fall down. But you can do either one. So whatever is more comfortable for you. So you could do it that way or just sit, whatever you like. Good. And take three breaths. So we're going to breathe in. Exhale. Again, breathe in. Just come as far as you feel comfortable. Good job. Try to keep your knees straight best that you can. Good job. And one more time. Come up. Now we're going to shake our legs together. We're going to press our legs right out in front of us on the mat. Our legs are really straight out in front of us. We're going to point our toes, reach our arms up, and then reach towards our feet. And just give your legs a hug. And if you want to now, you can grab your toes if you can reach them and flex your feet and pull your toes towards you. Awesome. Good job. So you're pulling your toes. So Lolo's doing it too, pulling her toes. Great job. Back of the knees are as straight as you can. You can let your head come towards your feet. Three breaths here. And exhale, good, breathing, and keep breathing in. Exhale, now this is kind of a fun one, sometimes kids like this, so you can put your hands kind of between, um, I, I usually say more towards your knees, because otherwise people kind of go too far back towards it, so we're gonna put our hands towards our knees, we're gonna try to float up, okay? Now, it's okay if you kind of do like what a lot of times we'll start with, just kind of getting the hips up, but then if you feel like, you know, you're ready, so put your hands by your knee, a little bit by your knee, squeeze your legs together, squeeze them tight, you might be able to get up and float. It's a good one to practice, it's but don't hard. try to force it. Yeah, don't try to force it. So hands can stay right here. And for now, it's okay if just your butt comes out. I can't do that. That's okay. We keep working on it. So let's try going into something else. So after you've lifted either all the way or keep your heels down, you're going to put your feet on the floor and go into a reverse table. We're just going to hold our reverse table, push your belly up towards the ceiling. You can let your and head down and breathe in, breathe out. Keep pressing your belly, push your belly as high as you can. Good job. And press it even higher. Good, good, good. And then we're going to slowly come down and then we're just going to hug our knees. We're going to give our knees a little hug, forehead towards the knees. Very, very good. Stretch out that back. 
We're going to do a little rolling. So we're going to pick our feet up and we're just going to roll back and roll up. And don't let those feet touch the floor. So again, roll back, roll up. And it's really kind of fun. Just breathe, good job. Two more times, okay? So roll back and up one more time. Good, good work. Not keeping those feet on the floor. Awesome, and hold. Then we put our toes a little bit. Yes, you're doing it, good job. So feet are halfway or all the way up. It's up to you, okay? So you choose either straight or back and we're gonna let go and do our bolt, okay? So bolt and breathe in here. Very awesome job. Keep breathing, breathe in. Exhale, you're doing great. You can do it. Keep breathing, breathe in. Exhale, wonderful job. Last time, breathe in. Now, ready, we're going to go back up into our table. So press up into your table. Stretch that belly up towards the ceiling. And then come to your back and hug your knees. So we're going to hug our knees a little bit side to side. This time, this is going to be optional because some, again, for different kids, this might be something they do all the time or it might be something that they've never done. So if your kid has never done this, we're going to go into a bridge, you can just push your hips up here. Just kind of stretch everything out. If your kid normally does a wheel position, if they've done that before, they can put their hands under and press up into a wheel. So Lola's going to do her wheel. Very good. Nice. And then remember that if you're in a wheel, something important is when you come down, you want to tuck your chin to your neck and then roll your spine down slowly. Good job, hug your knees. We're gonna do that just one more time. So again, if you're someone who's newer to this, maybe just do the bridge. So just feet on the floor, hips high. Or if you've done the wheel before and you want to, you can stretch your belly up towards the ceiling and go into that fun wheel position. So breathe in, exhale again, breathe in. Good job, one more breath. And down again to your belly, to your back, good. Remember to tuck that chin and then hug your knees. We're gonna rock side to side. And then right here, we're gonna let our knees drop over to the left and push our arms to the right. We're just twisting, breathing in. Yeah. yeah, can we do it this way or this way? Well, we're gonna do it both ways, good question. So we've done it this way. Now we're gonna go the other way, are you ready? Uh -huh. So we're gonna bring our knees the other way now. And then we twist the other way, very good. I'm just gonna scoot up a little bit so Lola can be in here as well. So we're breathing in. Exhale, one more breath. Awesome, awesome job. Now we're gonna come into a happy baby. So we're gonna let our knees open, flex our feet. You can hold your ankles or your feet and your knees can push out to the side. So your knees are pulling out, happy baby position. We try to keep, if we can, our back flat here. So if your hips are coming up a little bit, Try to lengthen your back. Can you get your back a little on the floor? So it might feel a little more difficult to do that, but it's a great way to lengthen like this. Fine. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you want your back flat on the floor. Very good. And if you're feeling really good, you might open to a straddle even. So you can even hold your ankles. Good job. And then squeeze our legs together. Let's just circle our ankles. So you can stay here. We call this legs up the wall. So again, maybe it's someone who's newer to yoga. This might be a better option. Or if you like, you can roll your feet overhead. And we call this a plow. You could put your hands on your back if you want to, or you could even just keep them by your side. You could bend your knees or straighten your legs. You could even push your legs up to the sky if you like. Sometimes you might want to hold your back for that. So we're gonna take a few breaths and we're gonna do something really fun after this. We're gonna try to roll up to stand. So get your hips up one more time. And if you're in a, um, just the legs up the wall position. You can find a different way to come up to stand if you like. Otherwise, we're gonna try to roll on our back and stand up. Very good. So we're gonna go ahead and start at the front of the mat. So I'm gonna let you step a little in front so we can see. We're gonna sweep our arms up, okay? And then we're gonna forward fold over our legs, hug our legs, and trying our best to keep really strong straight legs. So it's okay if you're maybe a little higher up. But come where you can for straight legs. And then we're gonna go into monkey pose. We're gonna look forward. The length in our spine and we want to kind of find a flat back so let me see if we can find a really flat back maybe bring your hands even higher and can you make your back like super flat like a table and then pull hug your legs again put your hands on the floor and see if you can jump or lunge into a plank so a plank we want a super strong line in our body and we're going to lower down slowly ready so come into plank ready here we go can you find straight line so lower your hips a little bit there you go. And then lower all the way down. 
And then we curl up and we're gonna do our little cobra. So for cobra, it's just a small lift. This is upper dog a little bit higher. So we're gonna roll through a few of those. So come down cobra, rolling through that upper dog or cobra. Good, so kind of go as high as you are. Sometimes some people will go higher, some might not go as high. That's okay, whatever you feel ready for. Two more, roll up, good, very nice. And down one more time, roll up and down. Now this time, let's see if we could do what we either call Superman or Supergirl or just flying, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna reach up and engage through our entire back and float. So our legs are off the floor, our, our arms off the floor. You could swim with it, but I think we're just gonna hold it because now we're gonna swim our hands back and we're gonna do locusts. So before we grab our feet, Lola's grabbing her feet ready for her bow pose. You can do locusts or you can do like Lola's doing and do your bow pose. So this is really fun. We like to rock a little bit with it. Good. And just holding really fun. Nice and high, breathe in. Exhale, very good job. Ready, one more breath, and then we're gonna let go. We're gonna slowly come down, hands under the shoulders, and press up and back into child's pose. So we're in child's pose, just stretching. Breathing in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale, one more breath. And then lift our hips up. We're gonna come into what we call puppy pose now. So hips up, push your chest towards the floor, and this is our puppy pose. So our hips are in the sky. So you can actually lift up your hips even more if you want, good? Now reach your hands even more further in front of you, good? We just push our chest down, breathe in, exhale, again, breathe in. And then we're gonna exhale, slide back out to our belly, hands under our shoulders. Roll the shoulders back, and we're going to go into our downward dog. So we're going to take downward dog, walk our feet out, just treading the heels into the floor, and then sweep our right leg up in the air. So that's going to be your other leg. leg. There you go. Yes. Right leg, super high, good. And then lunge it up, place that foot in front of you. And then in this lunge position, we're going to stretch our front leg straight and flex it. So let's have your back toe on the floor and your knee lifted, good. And you can actually bring your feet a little closer together for this. Taking and bring your back foot a little closer, good. And then we're going to place the toes down and just let our chest come over. So you can actually bring your back foot all the way to the floor. There you go, <laughs> put it, flip your heel down, good. And then just hang, and it's okay like if you're not all the way down. That feels weird. That's okay, you're doing good. We're gonna go into triangle, are you ready? So you're gonna open yeah. up your top arm. There you go, good job, triangle pose. Really nice. Now bring that hand down, circle that left arm up, and we're gonna bend the right knee and come into a warrior two. So bending your front knee. Take your right arm and arch back, reach back and away. Good, and then back to warrior two. We're gonna come into tree pose. So we're gonna take this knee and place that foot either at our ankle or all the way up to our thigh. So we're in tree pose. We're gonna hold three breaths. So we're gonna breathe in. Exhale, very good job. Breathe in. Exhale. It's okay. It's all right. We're just doing our best. We're finding something to gaze on to help keep our balance. One more breath in. Good. And then as we exhale, let's go ahead and let's open up to a big star shape now. So our toes are going to point away. We're going to pull our arms down. Reach out, inhale. And exhale, pull down. Reach out, inhale. Good job. Two more times. Pull down. Reach out, inhale, one more time, pull down. Reach out, inhale. Now, we're gonna take our left leg and we're gonna do that warrior two on that side. And then we're gonna go ahead and straighten that leg and bring the left hand to that knee or that ankle and find our triangle pose on this side. Very good job, so find that triangle pose, good. And then let's go ahead, bend that knee again, come back to the warrior two. And then we're gonna take this left foot, push off that foot and find tree pose again. Foot to your ankle or all the way up to your thigh. I'm just gonna move a little bit so we can see low, low here. So find that tree pose, left foot up. Great job and hold and breathe. Awesome, awesome job, breathe in. Palms <laughs> together if you can. Hold those palms together, it can help you balance. So just like this. Okay. Good, good, good. And then let's find our big straddle, okay? So open our feet and we're gonna open our arms and just look under our legs. So we're gonna try to look underneath 
You can pull your arms down your back if you like, or you can just let your arms hang. Breathe in. Exhale, awesome job here, breathe in. Exhale, one more breath. And then we're gonna slowly come up. We're gonna step back up to the front of our mat, sweep our arms up, forward fold, and then this time bend the knees, come all the way up to the toes. We're just stretching here. We're gonna bring our hands in front of us and very slowly roll to the floor. Bring our feet together and let our arms open and our palms open, our eyes close. We call this a reclined butterfly, so we're just resting, breathing. We're going to keep our eyes closed for a few moments. And hopefully now after moving and breathing, we got some energy out and maybe we're ready to have a little more calmness to our day. Thank you guys very much. We say bye, bye, bye. Bye. Bye.